You're so fat. Yucks. You're so flat chested. Why are your ties so big? Ew. Why are you even so thin? Do you want me to enroll you into a feeding program? Have you experienced hearing all this? Or do you know someone who was the victim of these kinds of people? Good day, everyone. It's a pleasure to have you here today. I'm Jocelyn Timmy Chan, metric number S56743, and I'll be sharing about why body shaming must come to a stop. We undoubtedly already know how uncomfortable it is to shame someone for their physical looks. Besides, in my research from a private eating disorder treatment center for women in Birmingham, it stated that words matter and have the power to hurt someone's feelings. Even if we aren't aware of it, statements might drive someone to pause and presume unrealistic physical expectations. Body shaming has been prevalent in society for a long time, not only through verbal communication, but also through the internet and social media platforms such as Instagram and Twitter, which have made it accessible to all. As a result, after conducting comprehensive research for this speech, I realized that body shaming is a major issue that people should stop condemning and judging someone's physical features and appearance. Therefore, I'm hoping to persuade each of you today to stop body shaming and treat everyone equally because, firstly, body shaming can result to eating disorders, depression, and anxiety, and secondly, it can affect one's well-being. According to timesnowsnews.com 2018, body shaming can result to eating disorders, depression, and anxiety. Body shaming has been linked to eating disorders such as anorexia, in which a person excessively restricts their food intake to lose weight if they are too fat by conventional standards, or bulimia, in which a person restricts their food intake to gain weight if they are too thin. Body shaming that occurs too frequently or has greater impact for any reason can lead to anxiety and depression. People who suffer from anxiety are prone to overthink everything, even comments about their bodies. People may get uneasy as a result of constant negative comments leading to panic attacks and depression. Karusha Pata 2018, a body positive activist from South Africa, also stated that body shaming can affect one's well-being. Fat shaming, body shaming, shaming in general. Any sort of negativity can have a significant impact on a person because of their history with body shaming. A modest opinion might enrich a person's greatest ego. According to Jared, there are also several offensive comments such as, there is no way that is going to feed you. And, you need to eat and put some meat on your bones. Do you still feel it is acceptable to body shame someone's physical appearance even if you have no intention of doing so? People consider an opinion to be relevant if it appears to be helpful. Although the viewpoint may appear to be beneficial, it is not worth sharing if the person is happy. Any sort of negativity can have an impact on one's well-being. A person's capacity to project confidence might be harmed by a glare, a tone, or even name-calling. When shaming is present, your physical, emotional, and mental well-being can all change because you are encouraged to believe that their opinions matter. I am a perfect example to experience body shaming, and guess what? I was offended. I cried and cried. But it's alright to cry. But once you're done, wipe your tears and stand up again. Use them as a motivation to be better. Remember that being skinny is okay. Being not skinny is okay. Having curves is okay. Not having curves is also okay. But body shaming others for their body type is not okay. Therefore, I appeal very much to all of you to stop body shaming others. To summarize, Break the practice of body shaming or making fun of people's body shapes and weights. Start your move now or you will have to deal with the same issue again in the future. Once again, body shaming must come to a stop because it can result to eating disorders, depression and anxiety and can affect one's well-being. To put a stop to body shaming, we should take a step forward by educating our family that body shaming is not right and is not a joke. On the other hand, we should also give moral support to those who face body shaming. And lastly, we should stop fixing body and start fixing the world. I guess that's pretty much everything. That's all from me. Thank you.